Welcome back to another exciting day here at the Storage Scavenger. Today we are working on listing stuff on eBay. That's what we've been working on for a while. We've been building up our listings and growing our eBay. Uh, so we're almost to 100 items in our eBay store. It's been a slow process because I'm going back and forth between sorting the storage unit and sorting out the death pile of stuff that we've got and building up our eBay store and trying to get it up to our goal is 500 listings uh, just earlier today we also hit our 500 subscriber mark that's the goal we've been trying to get to so in our next live we're going to be doing our giveaway our mystery box giveaway we've been talking about it in our last several videos we've got a mystery box that we're giving away to one of our lucky subscribers in our next video i'll talk to you at the end of this video about what we're going to do with that giveaway so stay tuned all the way to the end James, I'm the storage scavenger. If you're new here, make sure you click the like button, subscribe, and catch all of our latest updates. We clean out abandoned storage units and we resell the stuff that we find. I got myself into a bind. I got a ton of units all at once and I didn't sort through everything and get it all out. So now I've been spending the last few weeks going through sorting everything and getting it listed. We got a ton of stuff listed and we're going to go showcase you some of the stuff. So let's go inside and see. Hey, welcome inside our shop. This is all of our stuff that we're listing that we're getting ready to sell or stuff that we've already sold. So right here we have our kind of our shipping station. Uh, got a few items on here. These are some of the stuff that we're listing right now. We got this little angel Christmas ornament. We're listing that one today. Uh, this is an old Sam Morton's coffee mug it's a one of a stack of coffee mugs that I've got that we're trying to uh, get listed um, <clears throat> right here we found these in our storage unit those are old style they're cork back hard placemats I've got two sets of these that we're listing on our eBay store right now the haul videos you might recognize this this is the 5 CD disc changer we've got this at the Goodwill for 20 bucks or no uh, this one we get it paid. We got this one at the Goodwill for 15 bucks, and so we're getting that one listed. They're currently selling for between 50 and 79 dollars. I'm listing it at 60 mainly because I don't have a remote control for it. Um, uh, I do have all the other cords and cables. It's in really great shape. It does work. We've tested it out, and made sure it works really well. The Snoopy up for sale. This is one of our other Goodwill hauls. In fact, I showed on the video a few days ago how I listed this one. So check right up here in the cards and make sure you go check out that video and see how we listed Snoopy. But we got Snoopy listed. He's up for sale right now on our eBay store. I'm not sure if these were homemade or if they were uh, made to sell this way. But it's a little ashtray. Um, but it's got Lupita. And it doesn't have any kind of markings or anything on the back. I'm thinking it may have been homemade because the person that we found these in this unit uh, did actually do a lot of ceramics. In fact, we found a lot of ceramic blanks in that unit. And I'm going to probably be selling those off as a lot later on once I get them out of the storage. And then this right here. This one's cool. I think this is a cool little decorative bowl. It's a decorative bowl. It's heart-shaped. It's got a little apple in there. And for anybody that's a collector of hearts or apple stuff, this would be a great little piece for uh, maybe Valentine's Day or Easter coming up. A uh, nice little gift piece. <laughs> like I said, it's a decorative bowl. Again, there's no markings or anything, so it could be homemade. It could be store-bought. I don't know. One of the toys that we found in the Crystal Treasures unit, and it's a Walking Dead die-cast car. It's fully metal. Um... It's got the little painting on the front. It says, what does it say? Susan, stay here. We come back every day. So, something to do with The Walking Dead, I'm pretty sure. I've never watched The Walking Dead, so I have no idea if that's something from The Walking Dead or not. I'm guessing it is since it says Walking Dead on there. What we did was a $5 unit. It was trash. 
one of the things that I showed in there was this brown, dirty, nasty gravy boat that we found. And a lot of people said, oh, that's trash, it's junk. Look at that. Cleans up real nice when you get all the dirt off of it. And it's actually, it's a Tepco. Uh, it's a pretty nice little piece. And again, this one's like 12, 15 bucks. I only paid five bucks for the whole unit. So that right there, once it sells, it'll pay for the whole unit. And I've actually already sold a few items out of that unit and made my money back. So everything I make at this point is profit anyway. And this is a Minotaur. This is a Cologne. And it's one of the things that we found in one of our storage units. We've got all this stuff is stuff that's out of either unit, storage units, or thrift halls. This was one of our other thrift halls. Monopoly Sonic the Hedgehog game. Um, sealed, brand new in the package. It's on our eBay right now. This is a pretty cool piece. It's still factory sealed. And there's a little bit of damage on one of the corners, but not that much. It's just a little bent right there. But it didn't even break the seal. It's just, you know, the bucks got dented just slightly. Yo quiero Taco Bell. We got the little Taco Bell dog. We found this in the Crystal Treasure unit. And um, that was a pretty cool little find. A um, little bit of money. A lot of these are smalls. Um, I'm doing pretty well lately with the plushes, so I'm doing a lot of plushes right now. In fact, I just bought another lot of plushes that I'm waiting to come in the mail. Um, and then we have this little collection of angels. Look at those. Those are some cute little angels that we got. And I set these up as a lot in our eBay store. And just nice little cute little ceramic angels. All of these items are up for sale on our eBay right now. So check them out. Um, I got a bunch of Funko Pops. But the boxes were absolutely destroyed on them. And after doing some research I figured out they're actually worth more out of the box. Than with the condition of the boxes leaving them in the box. So we took them out of the box. Uh, this is one of them. Is Oogie Boogie from Nightmare Before Christmas, and it's the green one. Also have the Harley Quinn diecast figurine. This is a pretty cool little find. She's a nice little piece right there. Mug life stuff. I found a ton of coffee mugs and stuff, and this is one of the cool ones. Uh, I don't know if you got Whataburger where you live. This is a Whataburger refill coffee mug. They used to honor these. They don't honor them anymore, but they're collectibles. Uh, they have a little buffalo head, Indian head, buffalo nickel. Uh, on them and these were nickel coffee refills uh, you could refill it for a kick refill it with coffee for a nickel at Whataburger uh, it's pretty popular here in the south I don't know um, other parts of the country but pretty cool little collectible mug there we've got the sterling silver ring that we found in one of our units this one actually came out of the five dollar unit that we just finished it is sterling silver it's got a little coca pelle uh, designs engraved on it. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little sterling silver ring. That one's up on our eBay right now. Apple earbuds. These are the corded ones. They're still in the package. Really good condition. Apple branded. They do work. We tested them. I did take them out to test them, make sure that they worked, and they do. Um, but then we put them right back in the package right the way they were. So. They're still, they're unsealed, but they are still in the box. So, that's a good little find. <clears throat> and if you've got Apple products, a 360 cam. Unfortunately, I don't have an Apple, or I'd probably be using it. Um, we did borrow somebody's iPhone, tested it out. It does work. Um, but it's an Apple. It's in a hard case it's a 360 camera uh, for an Apple it's got the little lightning charger right there some of the finds that we're having so it's been kind of fun going through all this stuff and seeing what all we got um, 
got the Jesus. We found this picture in the homeless person's unit. They had a ton of religious stuff. Some of it we've already listed. Uh, some of it we haven't. Um, this one we've got listed on our even. Another little fetish is a turquoise stone carved fox fetish. Look at that. And this one's actually on auction right now. It's already got some bids on it. And that auction ends today. So by the time this video comes out, the auction is probably going to be over. But that's one of the things we, we listed. And it's going to be going out probably tomorrow in tomorrow's deliveries. Stuff we got listed on our eBay right now. Uh, we got a... Oh, like I said, we're at almost 100 items in our eBay store. We're actually, most of the stuff that's on here, uh, there's a lot of it that's kind of long tail stuff. So it's stuff that's going to be sitting for a while. So we're going to be packing it up and taking it over to our storage to make some room. Uh, the stuff that's quick sale, we try to keep in here. Whereas the stuff that's more long tail that's going to probably sit there for a month or two, that's the stuff that we're taking over to our storage. And we're storing it over there on the shelving. Uh, this is one I got from Lisa over at uh, Flipping Crazy during the Auctions for You auction last week. And I got one more lot that I'm still waiting on. So we're going to unbox it here in just a second. Sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Loads of thanks. Thank you, Lisa. Alright. So, let's show you what all we got from Lisa. And I'm going to have to explain myself because this is outside of the stuff I normally buy. It's normally list. But there's a few things that I saw in here that are why I bought this lot. Because I normally don't buy this kind of stuff. In fact, but look at these. These are ties. But some of these are very, very well-made ties. And I've been doing research. Because I have a ton of ties. And I've still been doing research on ties. This is a pointed apparel. Which is Bellflower, Calmath, Medford. From the Living Epistles. These are religious ties. This one says, this world is not my home. This is religious apparel. And these can sell for a lot of money. Just a single one of these ties can go for $20, $30. $30 um, easily. And I got the whole lot for $40. So, um, here's another one. And so I'm going to be looking these up and seeing what these particular ties are going for. <clears throat> Now, some of these ties are really cool. A uh, little bow tie. Bow ties actually tend to go pretty well. And especially the clip-ons, they're pretty made. It's a 14 and a half. It's adjustable, so you can go from 14 and a half up to a 20 inch. And that makes it even easier to sell than a standard size. Now this is actually part of why I got this. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. It's Q. It's a double extra large. Look at that. And the matching tie. Q brand. That's actually a big part of why I bought this lot was for this right here. Because that combo right there is going to almost pay for the whole lot. I've got another little fancy bow tie. Some suspenders. I didn't even know the suspenders were in there. I guess she showed those. I wasn't paying too much attention at the end. And a nice little fancy bow tie. So 
So, those are some cool ties. That's what I got from Lisa. Some more cool bow ties. There's like three or four bow ties. Plus the regular ties. Some of these will probably lot up and sell as a lot. Um, we're going to go through these, look each up each individual one. The ones that are worth quite a bit, we'll try to sell individually. Xylos. Sterling Hout. Paisley's. I actually got one just like that one that I was looking up just the other day. Doesn't have a the brand tag on it. Oh, there it is. Courchevel by Damon. Damon James. Versa. XMI 325. And then I got some people that collect fancy ties. So. Pair Cardin Slim. Slim ties. Got these little slim ties. Some people like those. And FUBU. Gotta love the FUBU. So we're going to start looking some of these up. And seeing what we got. Those will probably be going up next week sometime. And this one is J Blades and Company handmade. These don't say they're silk, so I'm not sure if that's silk or not. We'll be looking into them. Maybe do some research. Maybe we'll see what they're made out of. Alright, so that's a lot that we got from Lisa. So, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, a lot of ties. Like I said, we're going to make a little bit of money off of them. And see what we can get. That's a lot that I got from Lisa. And big shout out, thank you so much to Lisa from Flipping Crazy. If you haven't checked out Flipping Crazy, make sure you check out her channel right here. Go and give her a shout out, give her a check, and make sure you subscribe to her channel. Watch her videos. She's got some great auction loss that she does, and she shares a lot of cool stuff over there. So make sure you go check her out. Also, make sure you check out Auctions for You. Because we're going to be going to auctions for you ourselves on January the 27th and doing some of our own lots. They do some great auctions over there. They're doing online auctions. It's uh, T and Donatella. And they're running some really, really great auctions over there. So make sure you check them out if you haven't already. And um, make sure that you sign up for the auctions so that you can be registered for our auction that we're doing on the 27th of uh so that you can be signed up make sure you register for their auctions at auctions for you so that you can be registered for our auction that we're running on the 27th Right here is a mystery box and as you can tell it is packed and it's all electronics this is all stuff that I should be selling we're giving this away to one of our lucky subscribers this thing is heavy it is absolutely loaded and it's all stuff that we should be selling but it's stuff that we're giving away to one of our lucky subscribers why because we want to say thank you to all of you that are subscribing to our channel, watching our videos, and sharing what we're doing here at the Storage Scavenger. So, thank you so much for your support, for your helping us to grow this channel, and helping us to improve our videos. And in order to say thank you, we're giving away that mystery box to one of our lucky subscribers. We hit 500 earlier today. So, what we're going to do is, during our next live, 
we're going to give away the mystery box during our live to one of our subscribers. There's a few things you have to do to qualify. Number one, at the end of this video, leave me a comment, hashtag scavenger giveaway. And we're going to give away that mystery box to one of our lucky subscribers that entered with that hashtag. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna to have to comment below at the end of this video. Now, if you're watching the premiere, make sure you go to the comment section, not the live chat, because the tool that we use to pick the winner, we use a random generating tool that's gonna to sort through the comments and pull that out. But if you don't do it the right way, if you put it in the premiere chat, then you're not gonna be registered. So make sure you register by commenting below, hashtag survivor, hashtag scavenger giveaway. Put that in there right now. I'll put it right up here. Make sure that you get that in there and a leave us a comment that says hashtag scavenger giveaway and leave us a comment about the stuff that you see. Leave us, let us know what you like, what you don't like about what you've seen with our videos so that we can continue to improve and continue to grow. Um, also, make sure you come to our live next Tuesday, 9 p.m. right here at the Storage Scavenger. Next Tuesday at 9 p.m. during our weekly live, we're going to give away the mystery box. You have to be present at the live to be eligible to win. So make sure you come to our live 9 p.m. right here at the Storage Scavenger, and we're going to give away the mystery box sometime. It might be at the beginning. It might be in the middle. It might be at the end. You've got to stay until we do the giveaway. So make sure you show up. Make sure you're there for our giveaway. And we want to say thank you to all of you that are supporting our channel and helping us grow and helping us win. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Big shout out. Thank you, Lisa, for this wonderful lot that you sent us. Uh, we really appreciate it. And we're going to try to do it some good justice as we move forward. Um, we've got a lot of stuff going on. We've got a lot of stuff moving. Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Click the little bell notification so that you know when we go live and you know when we're coming back. So until next time, have a great day and come back next time and see what we find next.